Hi guys, I just updated the Trollolo shirt or uh, the Awen Wonder shirt these days from Awen Wonder because Trollolo is no more. But um, uh, Awen Wonder keeps this shirt up to date and also uh, calculates the trend line correctly, incorporating all new data. Uh, and um, I just did uh, a guess here, but he confirmed it was correct. Uh, so the trend line is around 240 billion right now, and the market cap. Well, as of today, it's 180 billion, but when I made the short to, uh, yesterday, it was 175 billion. And that's an undervaluation of uh, minus 30% here, uh, uh, below the trend line. Huh? After this recent rally, uh, we are here. And um, so, so many people call the end of the bull market, uh, uh, say that this was likely the bottom here when we reached 3,200. Uh, and um, I, I think there is a very, very... I, that there is no strong case to be made here that uh, the, the end of the bull market is here. Um, um, why? Well, uh, of course, the Trollo short is very, very helpful in judging this. Um, uh, the Trollo short, we see, we see a clear trend where um, valuations are going down over time compared to the trend line. Eh? Uh, the trend line is just an average of all prices. Um, but also uh, it has an opinion in it that the curve will uh, will be like this uh, over time, which is normal. Uh, uh, growth goes down over time as market cap goes up. Um, uh, and so uh, what we see is that overvaluation compared to the trend line goes down over time. But what, what we also see is that undervaluation compared to the trend line goes up over time. We are at min minus 70 percent here. Uh, uh, the last um, bear market, uh, at the end of the bear market, at the end of the sideways movement, uh, Bitcoin went here from $1,150 to $150 was it right here. And then it went sideways at the end of the year, uh, let's say in uh, August, September, it was not at 150 at the bottom, but it was around $200 here. And then uh, undervaluation went up over time. Uh, in the beginning, when it dropped actually to $155, uh, then the undervaluation was 43%. But when it then continued to be at $200 for the whole year, uh, undervaluation continues to go up because the trend line, of course, continues to go up here. Undervaluation uh, goes up over time as prices stay flat. And so we went to minus 70% undervaluation here, which was much higher than in previous bear market of 2011 here, where we went to an undervaluation of only minus uh, 50%, say. So, so we see a trend where undervaluation goes up over time. So in this bear market, if historical patterns continue and repeat, we will see an even higher undervaluation to, of not minus 70%, but minus 80%. Eh? So if this is the end of the bull, uh, bear market, then this will never happen. Eh? Uh, then we are currently at minus 30%. We will actually go back to the trend line and above, and we will go into a new bubble, a new overvaluation. Uh, and so that means that we would never see an undervaluation of minus 80%. That's unlikely. Eh? Um, also, the, the, the duration of the bear market would, would, be, would be too short. Eh? Um, uh, as we can see the pattern here, and I think throw away uh, has uh, has done a great chart on this. Uh, here you can see the same chart, uh, logarithmic prices of Bitcoin in this case, because uh, here it's of course of all cryptos together, uh, but it is only Bitcoin. And you can see clearly that uh, the cycles become longer over time. Huh? And the first bubble, bubble in 2010-2011 was 300 days. The second bubble from, uh, from top till top then, was 900 days. The, uh, the third wave cycle from top to top was 1,500 days. And so this, this, this from top to top is expected to last a lot longer than 1,500 days. Uh, his expectation is 2,000 days. Um, and that could certainly be possible. That's the most probable scenario. And so, as, as you can see on his chart here, um, and I like very much the words he uses, huh? the recent breakout if sustained, would be one of the largest deviations from long-term trend. Look to November dump for an example of deviance. 
that black line is a magic is a magnet sir could you close your window please so 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 uh, that black line is a is it, 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 it works like a magnet he's saying uh, which is true huh? uh, if the price tries to run away from the black line it will dump right straight to it sooner or later and i think this is the most probable scenario of course here again huh? Uh, it is possible that that, that the bull market is a uh, bear market is over, but it is not probable, and that's very important. When you bet your money, when you invest your money, you have to invest on the most probable scenario, the most money, and you you invest the l less, the, you invest the least in the less probable scenario. Huh? So right now, yes, you can in, in invest some money that the market will go up, but not uh, the majority, a minority only. That makes rational sense, in my opinion. But there are many other indicators that uh, show um, uh, that um, this is very likely uh, not the end of the bear markets. I really like this. I think that... Um, there is a, of course, always a chance that it shoots up and the bull market is over. Actually, I was totally caught off guard right here. Eh? Uh, I said there is like a very, is almost no chance we're going to get a new bubble here. It's going to continue to go down for a long time because last time it took many months. Eh? Uh, and, and, and so I did not expect this at all to happen. And actually, I was at only an exposure of 20% crypto here when the bull, the second bull in 2013, happened the first went from basically three dollars to uh, three hundred dollars eh, or, or or two dollars to two hundred dollars two hundred fifty dollars uh, it corrected then uh, uh to eighty dollars it was around hundred dollars or so here and then it shot up to thousand dollars so so i did not expect this can happen again of course always eh? you have to protect yourself against that and, and therefore a minority position is justified in crypto why uh, uh, because even though the odds are the highest now we're gonna get considerably lower prices than we see today it's 5000 the low is expected to be around 2500 i think personally 2000 eh, right below 2900 will be hit well that's losing half of your capital a little bit more uh, and for bitcoin cash i do think a double bottom is likely that's like 100 dollars we're at 300 dollars so that's uh, could buy three these are serious big losses why would you have a 40 percent exposure to something that's very likely going to lose half its value in half a year time or, or lose 66% uh, of its value in half a year time. Why? Well, because the, the, the crypto cannot, uh, like there is a small chance it goes back into a new bubble and um, and then uh, it will go extremely high. Uh, every bubble sees a minimum 10x, uh, possibly 100x, some 1000x and a few 10,000x. Uh, uh, these are tremendous gains. Uh, that uh, you don't want to miss out on uh, and even if there's only a low chance to have tremendous gains that means you need to bet on it but um yeah it just shows here very clearly that it's most probable that we will see uh, um, yeah, that the bear market is not over, and that's the most important here, especially today after it just went up in a straight line. And this is just my drawing. Actually, in reality, this goes straight up suddenly. Eh? Here too goes up straight up suddenly. Eh? Uh, after eh, so prices are up considerably higher than a week ago. Um, this is really not the time. I eh, from uh, like you only have thirty percent undervaluation. Uh, but you are in a bear market, that's a fact. Huh? Uh, and you are in, we are in a bear market as long as it's there is no counter evidence. There is a lot of evidence that we're in a bear market. The evidence started to pile up here, 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 here. Now we're certain we're in a bear market. In the future, it may prove that we're already in a bull market today, but that, that's only in the future that we can tell that. For now, we don't have strong evidence that we're in a bull market. We have strong evidence that we're in a bear market. We're still in undervaluation, for example. And, and, and in a bear market, buying at 30% undervaluation below trend line, that's not a great move. You can get it at much better uh, valuations. Uh, not per se fiat valuations, uh, because indeed 
uh, even here, yes, the, 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 the undervaluation goes to 70%, but the fiat valuation was not as low as in the beginning. So it may well be that indeed in the future, fiat valuations will not be lower, but very, very likely uh, undervaluation compared to the trend line will be lower. Uh, and, and so you will be buying, uh, the risk reward ratio will be a lot better of what you will buy then. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my personal opinion. Uh, and, and I hope it's helpful. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching.